Hey there, Janko Rutgers here with a very special episode of Card Cutters. We're going to do an unboxing video of the new Boxy TV device that started selling at Walmart exclusively today. And we got one of the first units fresh off the shelf. And we're going to take a look at uh, what's in the box and how the box looks like. So first the outside of the box. It's kind of a busy packaging. It uh, doesn't even have the product name on the front. It just says free TV, watch more free TV. The Boxy logo down here on the bottom. A bunch of stickers. Uh, telling you about various deals and says stop spending money on stuff you don't watch and then it has a bunch of information about the uh, parts on one side the back has more about the various content available so it has over the air television it has applications and then here's the actual device and uh, a bunch of other stuff on the sides here it's teasing the mobile apps we're going to see if we have access to those already as well once we take a look inside the box. Let's see. And now let's take a look at the inside of the box. I'm just going to turn this over here, use my daughter's pencils to oops, open this. And there goes the plastic wrapper. And I'm going to open the box here. Welcome to the Boxy Rebellion. Very neat. Start here, so that's uh, just kind of like a quick start guide, I guess. What's inside the Boxy TV antenna, power adapter, and remote. And then how we get started, we can take a look at this afterwards. And there is a certain warnings, warranty, GPL code statement. There's always some open source components, obviously, in these types of devices. And there it is. It's kind of a neat presentation for a fairly simple device, actually, I guess. Uh, let's get this out of here. Here's the front. You can see this a little closer, the Boxy logo. There is, I think, some sort of protective cover here. Oh, yeah, we can pull this off. This gets shinier right away. The top has the Boxy logo as well. Here is, I think, for, I guess, uh, cooling. A little bit in the back. It looks kind of rubberized, but it is actually plastic. Uh, your an wall or anten the antenna out, or rather antenna in, where you plug your terrestrial antenna in. I think this might be a reset button. Here's an HDMI out port to connect it to your television. Then you have Ethernet port, but it also has integrated Wi-Fi, so you can choose between Ethernet and Wi-Fi. Two USB ports for external storage. You're going to see how much you can do with that, and then there's your power port. So there's no, um, there's no, uh, I guess, digital audio out. It's it's a minimum of ports, and basically the only choice to connect it to your television is HDMI. So if you don't have that, you're out of luck. No other ports on the front. The bottom has a few more information, uh, a little bit more information. Uh, it's a D-Link device, Wi-Fi certified, made in China stuff that you would expect. What else is in the box? Let's take a look. Putting this kind of tray out here really quick. There is a remote control obviously, which I'm going to unpack as well. There we go, remote control. This is a fairly simple remote control if you compare it to the previous box remote. And actually I gotta say, right now it does feel kind of cheap and light, but it has a D-pad play and pause button, home button, and uh, a back button, and uh, I guess this might be a menu button. Now what's interesting is, on the box, or on pictures anyway, we saw that one of these is a um, Voodoo branded button, and the other one is, I think, a Netflix branded button. This isn't on my remote, actually, here, which is kind of interesting, so I have to see what actually happens when I press on these boxes, uh, on these buttons. And here is uh, just a tab to Activate the battery. I, I would imagine that is a just simple watch battery. I can't put it out right now, but uh, that's it. And worth noting is if you turn it around, there's no keyboard. That obviously was the one thing that kind of uh, set the boxy remote before apart. You had a keyboard on the back. This is not here. And then here, this looks like infrared, plain old infrared. Previous box remote was uh, RF remote, so you could also point it elsewhere, which was obviously necessary if you had a keyboard. Now this just has infrared. So what else is in the box? We have an antenna here, and I think the cable for it is somewhere here. It's a plain antenna, 
which looks very similar to the antenna that shipped with the uh, boxy TV adapter, the USB dongle that they started selling earlier this year. So you can pull it out a little bit. This might be a little bit for, big for this shot, but it's, um, I don't know, 10 inches or something like that, 15 inches. And uh, you obviously put that in the back of your box to, to receive terrestrial television. And then the last thing is a power adapter and very generic as well. That's all that's in the box. There's no software in here, so I have to see how we get access to the to the mobile stuff or if there's anything else for the desktop. Uh, we're going to give it a thorough first look and then write more about it, and eventually next week we're also going to do a more in-depth review of this unit. But for now, that is the Boxy TV, Boxy's second-generation hardware, and stay tuned for more on it.